Hi guys, I'm going to be talking to you about the keto diet and um, what to look forward to this upcoming week for the national holidays. So first off for the keto diet, I don't do the keto diet myself. Um, I'm currently, well I'm currently not on a diet because I'm still undergoing the flu since last week. I started the challenge sick as a dog. So I, I do Herbalife products. I know Herbalife doesn't work for everybody. Same thing goes for the keto. Keto, <coughs> sorry, it's not 100% effective for everyone. So it's got pros and cons, just like any other diet. But this one, the keto diet specifically, yes, you lose weight. Um, you lose fat while retaining lean muscle mass, uh, reduces hunger cravings, enhances exercise recovery, etc., etc., etc. But... The potential risks of the keto diet is electrolyte imbalance, dehydration, gastrointestinal problems, low blood sugar, high triglycerides, increased uric acid, kidney stones, hormone imbalances, growth disturbances, and osteopenia, weak bones. So keto, ketogenic diet can be effective. Therapeutic diet is currently being researched for use it's still being researched okay so it's not like it's a hundred percent a diet that's been approved by by the by, by the doctors and stuff I would always okay so at the end of the day all right take away from the keto diet from the keto national day always talk to your doctor before you doing any intense diet. I spoke to my doctor before I started Herbalife because personally I suffer from Crohn's disease. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people do. But I suffer from Crohn's disease so I gotta watch a lot what I eat. I gotta watch a lot of how I do my diets. And so I discuss with my doctor before starting any kind of diet depending on what the food I ate because everybody's different. Some people actually go through have digestive issues or they have for example diabetes if you have any medical condition, you should always speak to your doctor before starting any any diet. That's my intake on, on that. Um, but for those that, that do keto diet that it works for you, great. Keep doing it. I mean, <coughs> I have nothing against the keto diet. Now, let's talk about matters that matter. The rest of the national holidays. Um... So tomorrow is bean day, thank god it's Monday day, cuddle up day, shortbread day, which you're going to be making at night, uh, and technology day. I want to talk about my job tomorrow. Um, I work at a news station and my job consists of a lot of technology, so I want to go ahead and show you guys my backstage behind the scenes stuff, because I think that would be cool. Um, Tuesday is bobblehead, tempura day. Um, the Wednesday is Argyle Day, Bubble Bath Day, Joy Germ Day, English Toffee Day, and Winter Skin Relief Day. Now, for Winter Skin Relief Day, we're going to be talking to my girl, Diana, who currently uses Monet skin products, which are amazing. I've tried them out already. She's going to be going ahead <coughs> and talking to us about how to get relief for our skin after this winter the changes of the cold weather even here people are florida and how we can make our skin look so much better <sighs> i haven't worn a lot of makeup these days because i've been feeling really really under the weather i'm still undergoing the flu this first week was so difficult to start off the national holiday challenge with the flu i've been trying to do what i can every day and we've made it this far which means that we can we can do anything so we're going to keep going um then on thursday we have national apricot day static electricity day and Nas national law enforcement appreciation day for that we're going to go pay a local a visit to our local mdpd and give those guys a thank you bring them some donuts Hope they don't get offended by that. 
Um, then on Friday we have bittersweet chocolate day. I bought some bittersweet chocolate already. We have to see if we make <coughs> what we make with that. Um, it's also night uh, oysters Rockefeller day. It's day the Eagles day and cut your energy cost day. Then on Saturday we have National Vision Board Day, Arkansas Day, Human Trafficking Awareness Day, which I reached out to somebody for an interview, still seeing if they're going to answer back, Milk Day, and Step in a Bottle and Splash of Friends Day, which should be relatively fun. For Vision Board Day, I was creating a vision board. I am the type of person who creates vision boards every year, um, and I had mine ready, uh, but... I decided to wait and finish it because I saw that there was a national holiday to finish your vision board. So on Saturday, I'll be fi finishing my vision board and I'll be posting the pictures later. And lastly, on Sunday, there's a case of ginger day. I don't know many gingers. I think I only know one. So we'll see. <laughs> Curry chicken day, marzipan day, pharmacist day, and national supper day. Sunday supper day. Um... So I had already contacted my family about having supper on Sunday. So that, you know, that maybe we could do a double takedown and cook some curry chicken for Sunday supper day. Double takedown. And maybe even make a marzipan. Triple win. We will see. <laughs> but that's what is upcoming this week. I will keep posting every day. Thank you to my friends. Thank you to all of the people following me for subscribing. Please share so we can have more followers and more, more people uh, subscribe. Thank you so much. It was an intense week. This flu doesn't make things any better. But hopefully we'll get better soon so we can bring more great content. Thanks, guys. I'm out.